Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Friday. Good to see everybody. Looks like everyone's all ready to uh, finish out the week. Good to see you too, Rich. Chuck, everyone. Charles, Cheryl. Bill, Bonnie, good to see you. Don, old Cyber Traders, welcome. Lita, good to see you all. By the way, Lita, you get up early, huh? I logged into the trading room and it's like, uh, what time is it? I think I logged in about 7.20 in the morning, you know, looking for some stocks and getting ready. Get, you know, fill up my coffee and I had to go outside and feed my chickens and everything. You know, but uh, early bird gets the money, right? Unfortunately, on Fridays, it's not always the greatest day. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, I always recommend everyone should be here early. But, you know, when it comes to Fridays, uh, not as much. I'm in an hour later than you. <laughs> All right, so uh, so anyway, let's. Uh, well, there was a lot of people in the room. Um, who logged in early too? By the way, Jesus, yeah, Lawrence. Lawrence was in there. Lawrence K was in there. Rich, Jeff was in there early. Michael C was in there. Ken also logged in pretty early too. But anyway, that's one. Like I said, you know what's funny? The more you start realizing how important it is here to get early, you know, the more the better it is. Where you kind of like get ready and get your head, you know, get focused on what to to trade. Usually, you know, also get ready as long as you're there before the 8.30 move. You know, you don't want to be popping in there right around that time. But anyway, let's talk about what's going on. Obviously, listen, I told you about this yesterday. I'm going to say it again. You know, the news is getting bigger and bigger and bigger about regarding this whole coronavirus. And you know what? If you turn on any channels, whatever it is, I mean, it's it's getting I mean, now China even quarantined that whole city. That is incredible. You know what? Look for these stocks. We're looking at INO. It's pharmaceutical stock. I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but some of these pharmaceutical stocks are going to be all over this. This is a major, major, major deal. I mean, and it could be a very profitable deal for any pharmaceutical stocks that come out with the uh, you know the the anti you know the drug that that could you know cure this uh, this crazy sickness. So you know eyes and ears open, everyone. You know, but there's definitely gonna be a lot of speculation. This is what traders look. You know, listen, we're not in uh we're not in the cure you know into the futures business or in the oil business. But you know, listen, you, how many times have we seen tensions overseas and then all of a sudden you know. Uh, oil spikes and like, why is that oil got to go up? How, listen, you deal with it every day. You know, people don't realize it, you know, regarding about the stock market and everything else. We deal with this stuff all day long, even if you're not in the market. You know, why is gas keep going up and down? It's a commodity. I mean, you know, depending on what's going on. So, you know what? Pharmaceuticals, you know, look out for it. But anyway, I know so far looks like the nicest one out of them all that's making a nice pop. And uh, I've been watching it on the on the on the level three and the level four, it's been some great orders out there, and she's not even up a lot. But but let, before we start going through the watch list, um, I want to just go over what we covered yesterday because yesterday morning was actually a pretty good morning, I thought, and uh, I want to kind of go over some of them. CODX is one of them. Uh, CODX was built off a, uh, a the coronavirus news. News came out this morning and the public stock offering. And then I don't know what just happened. You know, things just died. <laughs> so, so, what it, so basically, it's everything that I kind of told you. You know, we had one stock, you know, I don't know, fake news maybe. You know what I mean? And then sure enough, the thing ran from 80 cents to about four bucks and boom, right back down to a dollar sixty. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. But listen, any slight little news is going to make these things pop. PCG, on the other hand, listen to that, PCG, you know what? It's not the greatest day trade. It kind of gets a little ugly sometimes, but she's starting to become a swing trade, guys. You know, I mean, listen, she filled in that gap that was between 12.50 and uh, 13. And, um, you know, it looks like she's, it looks like she's doing a lot better. Um, Uber, on the other hand, I want to point out, too. Uber, too, looks like it's building a Fausto flag on the swing trade, you know, on the long-term chart. It's, you know, it, it had a really good pop yesterday. I'm telling you, some of these swing trades are doing pretty pretty good. But how do we know how to become, when we want to do a swing trade? Got to learn how to day trade first. What else we got? Uh, TRIL. That one also is doing pretty well. TRL, 50 cents. Stock's up $4. Very, very strong. Breaking all-time highs. Nasty stock, though, guys. Once again, another pharmaceutical stock. Uh, TWMC. I mean, uh, yeah, TWMC. So that one was just a quick right out of the gate. 
That one, three to nine, boom, did a, did a shake. You could see there right around 930, and they made another pop right there. And then it just kind of backed off right down to six. Very ugly stock. Listen, this stock, I just want to kind of point out, because you know what? You know, I was watching, uh, you know, everybody's trying to jump on the bandwagon of TWMC. And I know other, there's some other trading rooms out there, and they're bragging how much money to make. Let me, let me tell you something. This stock right here, Unless you were a level five trader, unless you can afford to lose a thousand dollars in, I don't know, a couple of minutes, which I know a lot of people can't, you should have not traded the stock. Now, could you have traded a hundred shares of it? You sure could. But you know what? Sometimes it's better to trade something a little bit slow and steady. It was a great move, had a great pop, but at the end of the day, you had to be lucky with WMC. So don't let this thing fool you. You know what? We see stocks up huge. We've jumped, in, jumped into them. And you know what? You got to admit, at the end of the day, you got lucky. That's it. And the thing is this. I would never brag about this stock, how much money you guys made, because you know what? I don't want to, you don't want to make people thinking where, you know, this is a farce or thinking of like, uh, you know, this happens all the time. You know, it's nice. It's great. You know, you were at the right place at the right time. But if you didn't know how to trade this stock, you could have bought it at nine and you would have been stuck at six and you could have blew up your whole account. So I know some people that got hurt on it, but uh, just be very careful when stocks like that, the trade like that. Anyway, so what's going on this morning? There are a couple of good stocks I do want to keep an eye on. So obviously we know about the INO, all right? So INO, you could see, look, it's already about 445. It's got great orders out there. It's starting to build. It's got, you know, it's got some decent iceberg orders. Not as big as I see on the right as much as I would like, but you know what? She's on the right direction. She's going up. Uh, NNVC is another one that came up on my radar. We all know this one very, very well. This is a stock we trade at $4, went to 13 right back down to 4 Hell of a shake right there, even yesterday. Look at those shakes out there. So um, not as crazy as the other one, but the stock, obviously, 400,000 shares already traded. Definitely going to make the watch list, but let me tell you, if you're not a, uh, hold on, let me fix my cards over here. There we go. All right. So, like I said, if you're not a student here of Cybertrain University for at least maybe six months, you know, and, and have dealt with these things before, just stay away from them. You'll notice in the trading room, and I know we have a lot of new traders in here. We always talk about this. I said, listen, you'll notice that. We always bounce around looking at different stocks because we try to, you know, we try to give a little for everybody that could be into something. You know what I mean? So, you know, if you missed it, you know, maybe there's something else you could jump into. So when you see us bounce around, there's a reason for it. Remember, our job is you're not here to shadow us, okay, uh, or me or any of the instructors. We teach you that in class. That's what you've done so far in phase one and phase two, and that'll be doing phase three next week. Your job is to hear. We're telling you, hey, this is moving, and you guys need to work together as a team, and that's what the whole idea is. There's a team effort. There's not the Fausto effort, all right? And I constantly keep on to remember everybody, remind everybody that. Now, uh, a couple other ones also that are moving. we got the SACS, uh, TNXP. That one also looks pretty good. Another pharmaceutical stock also, very cheap, but it is a penny stock, okay? You know I'm not a fan of these penny stocks. By the way, I don't know if this is really true, but was this stock $20,000 at one point, which technically really wasn't? That means it did like a reverse stock split, reverse stock split, reverse stock split, reverse stock split. But uh, no, I'm not, I mean $20, I'm sorry, not not uh, 20000 But yeah, probably, no, probably it was, probably it was a $20 stock. Probably it was, definitely. I got to check on my other system. But um, but even at penny stocks, they were $20. Actually, I, 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 uh, I'm posting an article on penny stocks regarding about, about penny stocks. I know that everybody wants to read about them, learn about them on my blog. And I see, I see it's a very popular topic. People are always looking up. But uh, I got my two cents. I got to throw in about a penny stock. And uh, what else we got? So we got this one, TNXP. We know about INO. SEI is another one that came up on my radar. I don't know what happened to this one. By the way, this was a $400 stock. CEI. Who remembers this one? Anybody remember this stock right here? Oh, my God. This stock went from 100 to 450 Unbelievable, this stock. Unbelievable. This was what was one of my uh, big winners that I made a lot of money on. It's one of one of the stocks I was able to buy one of my Rolexes. I'll never forget. CEI, love that stock. 
Uh, anyway, stock got destroyed. She's got some good movement. Is she going back to 400? Keep dreaming. Okay. Could that happen? Absolutely. But as of right now, looks like she's got some good movement. We'll keep an eye on that one. NNVC is another one. We'll keep an eye on that one too. Uh, that one, you know, like I said, we traded that one already. We already know about it. She went from 4 to 13. She came back down. We know it's a short squeeze. And as of right now, it looks like she's going to be testing resistance right around 6. So we got a pretty decent list here. I mean, listen, it's the only thing you got to remember, guys. It is Friday, okay? Uh, we're getting close to the end of the month. We got one more week. Big, big week next week. Super Bowl week. So, uh, might have to start playing my, uh, super, might have to start playing my, uh, oh, it's been so long, my, my Super Bowl radio channel, you know, for you guys getting ready for the morning. I'm actually going to start doing that, get you guys get in the mood. But, uh, but be, you should be very careful. It is Friday. We don't really, not, not that much really goes on. If you make, if there's a big runner, get it early, but just always focus on making the day's pay. All right, guys. All right. Anything I missed, I did not call out. else i think we pretty much got it all right so listen we got a lot of new members are going to be joining us next week we had a very very good a good event i did a really big event with with uh well 365 had over a thousand people in the room a lot of people wanted you know enjoyed it they want to they're gonna, they're gonna be part of ctu i know that a lot of them start on monday so um you know, some of them are starting today, so welcome. All I could tell everybody here, just look, listen, and learn. All right, just don't uh, don't buy anything. Don't trade in what we do. Just if you like what you want to do, I told you. Just see what it, if trading is for you or not. And then when you talk to an advisor, we'll see if we uh, if this is for you, and we'll go from there. In the meantime, guys, good luck today, and uh, just be very safe out there, all right? Don't forget, it is Friday. Happy trading, everyone.